who likes me, someone who really cares for me. I know Camille cares a lot. And... Can you talk a little about that up in, in the Mountain View? Mm-hmm. What were you saying? Who was I saying? <laughs> you were talking about Camille. Well, yeah, it's, it's then, you know, how much I care for Camille, think about her, and, you know, think a lot about Camille. So how would you characterize your, you, how do you guys, your relationship? Great friends. <laughs> I can call Rodney up and, you know, like he called me up about his plumbing broke in the house, mm -hmm. and, you know. I can come up and ask him for a ride if I'm stuck in L.A., and, and I yeah. have. <laughs> yeah. I have. I yeah. have. Relationships are kind of like, um, you have to be ready for them. You have to want them, and you have to commit to them, and you have to be into, when you get into them, basically take the fall, you know, because there's always an up, but then there's always a down. I'm kind of on a mission, you know, to do my music and stuff. And right now, I, I kind of have a boyfriend, and, you know, Rodney's just a friend. No. Let's meet him. Spread him over you know, the sea over in England. Yeah, I love London. Yeah, I'd like to live there someday. Well, then, were you there in the early 70s? Yeah, the first time. Tell me about that. That's when you met Bowie, right? Yeah. When I went to be with Melanie, Melanie McDonald. I thought we were going to get married, but she ended up marrying David Bowie's manager. But who knows, maybe when I'm over in London, I might find the woman of my dreams. You could take me in, take care of me, and live happily ever after. If you find a woman like that in London, would you come back? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Rodney! <laughs>
come and have a look at the uh, bright from the coast. It's a beautiful day, it's a beautiful sea, and we'll take you to the West Pier, to the Palace Pier first, then the West Pier. We'll do a commentary on those piers. I swam across, I jumped across for you. Oh, what a thing to do! And it was all yellow. She wanted. Finally, she got what she wanted. You should be proud. One hundred six point seven KROQ, Rodney on the Rock. I'd like to welcome on the telephone right now none other than David Boy. Hello, David. Hi, Rodney. How are you? It's great to hear from you. Thank you. It's good to be heard. <laughs> this is David Bowie, and you're listening to my friend Rodney Bingenheimer, Rodney on the Rock. One hundred six point seven KROQ. Yes, you just heard Ronald Vaughn. Isidore Ivy, spaceman at large, doing uh, the Heather Locklear twist. And right before that, you heard Jennifer Love Hewitt herself singing, How Do I Deal? How Do I Deal With That? And right before that, you heard Ronald Vaughn himself doing Jennifer Love Hewitt. Really cool. Anyway, you listening to Roddy on the Rock? Yeah, incredible. Well, Rodney means a hell of a lot to me. And... I say he's the irreplaceable best friend. That's how I made it through. Kind of moral support. Do you want this movie to have a happy ending or a sad ending? Do you think it's gonna have a happy ending? That's up to you, Rodney. <laughs> really? How would you like to see the movie end? Mm. Well, you know, everybody, everybody enjoys it. It makes everybody happy. I'm happy. You're not Dick Clark, are you okay? Are you okay being Rodney? Yeah, yeah. No, he's okay being Rodney. I thought we're cool. We are still here. <laughs> Fuck you. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
Rodney played it real nice. And this is for the time being. 